Same. Hi, I'm Tim. This is my dirty Mexican friend, Ray. So, uh, today we're going to be, uh, in our new series, we're going to be discussing film theories. Film theories! You're going to edit this in. Dun, 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 dun. Don't tempt me, I will. So, pretty much what we talk about is film theories, and we try to, you know, provide... Uh, we just talk about like, those crazy film theories you always hear on the internet, and we tr try to, you know, provide, like, evidence behind them. So, what are we talking about today, Tim? Today we're going to be talking about an oldie but goodie. Oldie but goodie, what, what, what is it? Back to the Future. Now, back in the 40s... Well, hold, hold on a second. What, what, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the fact that Marty's, like, his whole universe should be, uh, how it, his whole universe changed, yet he's the, still the same, or his whole life is ruined? Like, what, what theory are we going to talk about? Hmm. Mm. Well, wing it. Wing it. Got it. What? Yeah, Doc Brown is suicidal. How's Doc Brown? At, at the moment... Because remember when they meet the twin... Doc really happy. What? Yeah, but the Twin Pines Mall. Why does he stand in front of a fucking vehicle that's traveling 88 miles per hour? Standing in front of it. Mm -hmm. And prior to this point, this is his first invention that works. Really. As far as he's concerned, he's a failure. You're right. As far as he's concerned, he's a failure. And if you look at the, the glazed look in his eye, he's he's not having any. So yeah. You know what? In fact, uh, yeah, he cranks it up to about 67 and then lets it go. Why wouldn't he go to like 75, 78? No, my main issue is why the hell would he stand in front of a vehicle? Yeah. <laughs> and this, it maybe hits 88 miles per hour. They're gonna see some serious shit. Serious shit, meaning his body exploding into a million fucking chunks. I think he assumed Marty was gonna run, jump out of the way, but if he didn't, then he took Really? Because why'd he grab him and pull him in? Oh, yeah. Watch right. this. Watch this. Uh, hi. Got that sick look in his eyes. Uh... Also, who. I, you know, I think you mentioned this before, or you, you pointed this out when we watched it earlier. The license plate. What does it say on the license plate? <laughs> out of time? I'm sorry, that's not something you put on the license plate when you build a time machine. He could have put to the future. Or like, or... you know, like time machine or something, but out of time means that you're out of time. It's He's quit. It's done. It's he's, it's over. This this is the thing that if this doesn't work, he's dead. That's it. He doesn't give a shit anymore. Also, going back to the fact that I mean, he's he's and, he, and another main thing behind this is he he's a genius. Mm. He's always been a genius. Mm. But the thing is, he doesn't realize that he's actually creating things that are, that are working. Right? You know what I mean? Like, like, like for example, the the, the brain the. Yeah. The mind reader. Like, because I just want to point out the scene after it where he goes like, It works! I finally invent something that works. At that point in time, how... He, he, he was committed to killing himself. Oh, but that's... Well, it's, there's a big time gap. It's 30 years between that scene and the one. Right? It works. But yeah, he says, I mean, 30 years, yeah, he could invent something. But at that point in time, it proves to that... That proves my, my next point, I'm going to say. He says, I finally invent something that works. So at that point in time, he's probably never invented anything that he knows works. But going back to what you said about the brain thing, Everything he's like, oh, don't say anything, don't say anything. So wanna, so wanna, I'm just gonna read your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. He does. Everything he said happened. Every single thing. Mm -hmm. What was the first one? The... Uh, uh, you come from a great distance. Okay, that, that one's correct. Uh, you... Sell me subscription. Sell me subscription, yeah, for the Saturday Evening Post? Yeah. And what do you do? What, right what's... when he gets there, what does Marty look at to see the date? Saturday, Saturday Evening, evening post. post. And then... Uh, you want to make? You want me to? Uh, you uh, the Coast Guard thing? Uh, oh, the don don donation. Yeah, yeah. You want me to make a donation? Why did donation come up? Donation. He has in his shirt pocket. He can't see it. Yeah. A flyer that says "Make a donation to save the clock tower." Mm -hmm. These are all three things that he vaguely got correct on. Mm. So, at this point in time, he has three for three, pretty much dead on. Saturday Evening Post is something that happened in Marty's past. Come from a great distance. Mm. That's not something you just say to someone. You come from a great distance. Like, how the f do you know that this guy, this kid, this kid shows up at your doorstep? You don't just say, I mean, my imagining is like, oh, it's some kid. Okay, also, you want me to give a subscription or a donation? I'm not going to travel a long distance to make a, to, to get houses to fucking make a donation. Yeah, yeah. So, he was dead on at every single freaking point. So he's a genius, he just doesn't realize it. 
And just imagine that. Just imagine. Just put yourself in that mindset. Thirty years without any invention working. Exactly. Working. And it's just like, yeah, you're constantly making things. You are smart. You know you're smart. You're intelligent. You have all these great ideas. Yet none of it fucking works. And everything ever seems to work. After thirty years, you're gonna get desperate. <laughs> just it's this one or bust. Watch this, Mommy. Watch this. Okay. What do you, what do you want me to do? Now he saw. He said that he invented. And the here's the thing. Why wouldn't he just go in the fucking car himself and do that? Yeah. Instead, he did the dog. Why would he build a such a freaking extravagant um, remote control car? Something he never uses again in the whole movie or any of the series. He never uses that again. Yet, at that point in time, even if he was uh, afraid of it, why would you risk your loved dog? Yeah, like, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you'd risk your loved dog, but it's like, at that point in time, like, I, if, if the fucking thing doesn't work, what's the worst that's gonna happen? They both die. No, the dog is just gonna end up crashing, okay, fine, oh, yeah. but he's still in a car. Mm. Well, my, my point is that he built a whole rig to remote control his car so he could aim it at himself. That is not something you would normally, why don't you just aim it at a wall if you're gonna do that? Like, oh, I just wanna, see. even, the, okay, why would he put his dog in there? Yeah, you're right. Because if he dies, his dog has to die because... No one's gonna be taking care of him. And you know what? Him taking Marty with him is, in a sense, a way of like saying, you know what? I'm a crazy fuck. I don't give a shit anymore. He's desperate as hell. And also, the, another main point the shock. The, the shock of the, the surprise look on his eyes when his invention works. The, I'm still alive. The, the, the thing, it's like, I'm still alive and also, oh my god, it actually worked. That means he didn't have faith in it, man. <laughs> he was expecting to die. The shock in his eyes! I mean, I understand it's great that it works, but that's the first time he tested it, mm. and he's surprised that it worked. I mean, I would be surprised it worked too, but again, I'm not aiming a fucking car at myself and being ecstatic that I just survived a sur suicide attempt. These are all things, yeah, sure, you can look at like, oh, but this and that. I really want people to point holes in it, or put holes in this, like, yeah, yeah well, uh, he doesn't ever seem like, like, he seems like a happy camper, like, yeah, but you know what? Most people, when they get suicidal, they're at their happiest right before they do it. It's true. And that's the fucked up thing. He seems happy-go-lucky, but it's like, oh, I don't like this duck. You're, you're a little too, you're a little too giddy for me right Record now. Record me dying, Marty. Record <laughs> me dying, Marty. Literally fucking work. I'm dead, Marty. Jesus Christ. Hopefully you jump out of the way. If not, fuck it. It's just, it's not. It's not kosher, man. It's not kosher. It's, it's. I think I can see the only. What we were talking about this. Uh, uh, the hmm. only thing that you could argue, but you had a perfect excuse for it, oh, yeah. was the two dimensions thing. The wouldn't, oh, yeah, it's wouldn't like, a doc have known all this was going to happen? It depends on which theory oh, yeah. you subscribe to. Yeah, you're right. Um, what he pointed out was uh, that in the past, like, oh, Marty, or Doc should know because Marty went back in time already, so mm. he should know this thing. It it work, so, yeah. But saying that would imply that the, the doc you meet in the beginning of the movie is the same doc that you'll meet later on in the movie. Because if that were true, that fucking sign at the mall would say Lone Pine Mall from the get-go. Mm -hmm. That means Mark. Also, his parents would be rich from exactly. the get-go. Exactly, and yeah. this, this universe would have never existed. Like, oh, you're giving me that shit, like, yeah, but it's, it's perception. No, it's not perception. That Mark, that Doc, the, the later Docs, no, he's happy as hell. He's, he's, gonna, he's gonna live, he's gonna be great. But that Doc, that Doc died. In one dimension, there's a suicidal uh, Doc, and there is a... There's a family missing Marty McFly. And also, yeah, the suicidal doc ends up dying. Yeah. Also, he, he gets, gets shot by Libby. He gets what he wants. In a fucked up way. And it's like, oh, but that's the same. No, it's not the same doc. Remember the whole thing where it's like, they pretty much make it seem like there's, oh, like, and they even explains it in part two. This tangent, we can't go back to this point in time because it doesn't exist. We'll be going to the future of this point in time. Mm. The only way we can go back is going by this point in time. Okay, at that point in time, there's only one timeline. There's mm. never been a split. There's never been anything. Mm. Marty didn't go back in time and fuck up his parents' meeting. Ever. So, just the key difference here is... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But there, it's just, there's, there's, there, everything points to the fact that he's suicidal. Mm. Are, are we gonna are we gonna make the argument that Doc was maybe trying to hang himself, you know, when he invented the flex capacitor? A... No, no, he was trying to hang a clock. You're not oh. gonna tell someone you're gonna hang yourself. <laughs> he's, I, trying, he's trying to hang. A I clock. think just like hang a clock. That's even another fucking indication that he's hanging clock. But again, that's also a theory. But that does add to why the fuck was he, why why would he fall? Why would he hit his head hit it on the toilet? Why do you wait wait yeah on the toilet? He said right. Why are you hanging a clock in your bathroom? Do you need a clock in your bathroom? Jesus Christ. <laughs>
I think he just added a whole other element to this. Just, he's been suicidal since he was young. Here's my, here's and that my. also explains, at a young age, it works! I finally invent something that works! That even adds to it! Damn, he is a... He is. And all, Doc, it makes these inventions, like the the, the uh, brain scanner. And here, and here, and here's they another, don't work. And here's another element that you really want to, you want to really want to add it into it. In the games, back to future games, mm -hmm. if his, we're counting fa those. his father, no, they added it, they're canon. They, they're canon. They're, they're canon. Is it oh, Zemeckis is part of it, yeah. Yeah, Zemeckis, and so is uh, Michael J. Fox. Yeah, right. it, 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 those are canon. But yeah. uh, his whole life, like, mm. his, his father's always been... Like his, he's never been supported. Like from the, what they showed, like his dad never really supported like his dreams of being a, a scientist. Hmm. Interesting. We are Larry Steve people. This is pretty bad. Hmm. So yeah. Um. The point of this is, uh, we're not. I mean, we're trying to prove a theory here, but again, you can't really prove a theory. Without I think it's like the Mistbusters, but with film theories. They, they test it. We don't. We can't test. Well, we can test it. We can see if, uh, how how concrete the evidence is. No, it works. It works well. Like I'm like, like I'm saying. Like this this whole idea works well. It's just it completely changes the whole tone of the movie. It really does. I mean, like the whole intro now. It's like it's about a guy who's just down his luck, desperate, and just like that. Just that main thing. The freaking why would he invent the remote control that controls the car? Why didn't he just drive himself? Mm. It's like, oh, what if it doesn't work? Okay. I get that. But why does he need the car aimed at him? Literally. There's no reason for the car being aimed at him with the fucking camera. No. It's just, why does he... I, and I'm still gonna keep harping back to why does he pull Marty up to him? Because the, based on his look, when the car zaps away, he thought they were gonna get hit. He didn't expect that. You could have tested that. Because uh, he, here's one thing. With mice in the car instead? Because here's one thing. Marty is Aimed scared. Away. His face is scared when the car is coming towards him. Doc's face looks like he's like, well, like a welcoming embrace. Like, come here. Like, almost like the Joker. Like, come on, I want you to hit me. Come on. Come on. It's, it's, it's really fucking <laughs> dark. Come on. Oh. But yeah. The point of this was not to uh, try to prove our theory, but the point is to, you know, shed some light on it and. You know, maybe make the movie a little more intriguing. Like, it's, it's a lot better to watch a movie. It's, it's a lot better to watch a movie a second time with a completely different outlook. So, no, also, don't give me that bullshit. It's like, oh, the reason you let it go at six, seven miles per hour because you know it has, it has to hit the right amount of eighty-eight miles per hour. You could have waited a little, a little longer. It could have waited a little longer. Exactly. He, he didn't have to let it go right then and there. He, he planned it perfectly. So, like, hi. Either it hits 88 and it works, or I die. Or this is literally what's gonna happen. Lethal speed. Lethal speed would be. You he could have aimed it. You yeah. can die at 50. No, you, can, no, you can die at 10. They proved like five. Yeah. Yeah, but like pretty much 88. It's like I'm gonna explode. It's just gonna happen. He could have aimed it the other way. Now what we will say, what I will say for Doc though, is that after those events happen, Doc's now happy. Everything after that, he's exploring the future. He finds his wife. His whole outlook on life completely, completely just switches. His his. Just come All of his inventions work and he knows it afterwards. The train, the... Uh, he's a genius then, but at that yeah. point he's like, okay, perfect. Like, I know exactly what to do. Yeah. Before he was just... On a, he just needed... He just needed that. He needed that push to show him. I finally met something that works. So yeah, we completely just destroyed this whole movie and just... It's now a movie not about a kid going back in time to, you know, rescue his family. It's actually about... An old man who has just been, just, who's a genius, but he doesn't know it. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to leave some comments down there. We're going to keep uh, doing this series. Uh, Cause there's, a, there's a lot of movie theories out there, and we would like to touch upon all of them. The, the TV shows theories, too. We can, do, oh, yeah. we can keep this going forever, so um, if you guys are interested... Yeah, so it's gonna be called the button. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be called film theories, but we'll we'll touch on TV series and stuff. Yeah, every yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be. I hope, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, we expect this content a lot more because uh, school's out.